If you didn't catch the last upload, we got our doors wrapped by Showtime Graphics. They turned out excellent. Couldn't ask for better quality. Uh, shout out to Showtime. Uh, guys, we blew ahead gassing in the X3. So we're about to get it torn down. Hopefully we can get it back going today. Shouldn't take long. Uh, we got all our parts. We're gonna unbox our parts and we're gonna start tearing this thing down to try to get back on the road. All right, guys, we ordered our parts from uh, Wayland. Uh, they came really quick. Uh, we went with a set of ARP head studs. We're gonna need those for the future, big plans. Uh, we got our cam lock and we got our crank holding tool along with the head gasket. So guys, like I say, we're about to get ready to get into a quick time lap. We're gonna get this thing broken down and hey, we're gonna get it back on the road today. Alright, we got the bed off. Gonna get a little closer in depth with it. Uh I'm gonna end up snatching. I think I'm gonna take all this off too. Just so we can get you know clear access. Uh muffler gonna come off. Uh like I said, we just gonna get everything out the way that way we can get directly to it and make this easy. But that's the valve cover right there. That's what we gotta go. One step closer guys got the exhaust off we're gonna go ahead like i say get this top bar off get the uh, cooling jug out of there we're we'll, like we're gonna have to take off the charge to a couple more lines and we'll be ready to start snatching the head off all right we're gonna go ahead and take our uh, cam holding tube we already lined up at top dead center taking these off on the gears so we're gonna go ahead and lock our cams down that way when we pull them we can put them right back in the same location all right so right there we got our cams locked so they won't move now Get our two. And we're gonna go ahead and take our cams out we're gonna loosen the uh Right here, you can take the tension off the chain, get this plug removed, that should give us some slack on the chain. We'll take these guides out and that'll let us lay the chain over. Then we'll come through and take all our cam holder bolts out and we'll pick the tray up. See the piston coming out now, it's a hydraulic uh, tension spring and also have piston here all right we got the head off uh wasn't a bad job just mainly removing all the factory style clamps and everything that kind of you know made the process a little longer but we're about to continue on got the deck all shined up uh also cleaned the head which is over there got it cleaned up got the gasket in the box right here, side by side is the old gasket as you can see that's the new so got the heads in right here got it cleaned up got the surface everything cleaned up i'm gonna go ahead and get this gasket on get the head back on get the arp bolts installed put the cams back in do all that little wiring. We should be ready to crank this thing back up. We got the ARP head still started. We're about to get ready to drop the head back on. Get 
got the head set back on. We're about to get ready to torque it down to the uh, specs that ARP recommends. I say once we get done with that, uh, we throw the cams back in, get the timing back, and we'll be ready to just hook up the remaining hoses and try to get this thing back started. All right, about to do my first uh, pass on my torque sequence. I wrote down the numbers right there, so I don't have to keep looking at my phone. Your first pass, you're gonna do 20, 40, and then 60. And those are the numbers in the sequence you're doing. So we're about to get that done. Got my torque wrench right here. And I'll get back with you as soon as I get this done. All right, guys, got, got it back in time. Show you guys. Got it back in time. That was fairly easy. That was actually really easy to get it in time. Especially with that tool to lock those cams so they don't move. So. Gonna move this tool finally. I got the tool out. We're gonna get the valve cover back on, the uh, charge tubes, and we should be able to fire this thing up once we get the intake on as well and plug in the harness. We should be able to fire up. All right, we got everything good enough to pretty much get our first start since the new head gasket. So I'm about to get ready to prop you guys up so you can uh, get the first start with me and we're gonna see what happens. engine heat cycle twice last night that's what we wrapped it up at uh now we just got to get some cooling in the system and continue to get the rest of the bed on all our snorkel pieces that we got to put back on as well uh other than that get some cooling in it get the bed on snorkels and just a few miscellaneous things and we'll be done